Firstly, we have to use this device in plus plugin and we have to use it in our pubspec.yaml file after Cupertino icons dependency. After this, we have to go to the main file and you have seen here, I have the my app with the home as a home page with a stateless widget. After this, we will create the object of the device info plugin that we have used. So how can we do this? First of all, we have just created the, pro, the uh, object of a device info of plugin and then we have to use the uh, path where it have been. So we're just putting the path here. After, after this, we are just going to create here Android device info variable and then with a function as a get info. Okay, which will type of future and it's returning device info dot Android info. So you can use the Android info, iOS info somewhere else that you need. And then we're going to create here a show card function, which have only two parameters with the name and the value. Then we put here the card with child as a list list tile. Then title is a text and the name and the value and the style is a text tile. It is just simple things. So after this, we have to go to the scaffold and we have to call this function into the scaffold using the future builder. So let's create here, remove the future child here, the text, and then write here the future builder. So you will see we have just make here the future builder okay now uh, this future builder needs one builder okay so let's create a builder here with this parameter and then i'm going to return here one column so i just putting here the one column here okay this column needs the children before going to the f uh, further what i'm going to do here uh, this future builder have a type of android device info and then this future builder also some data get data from the future and which is the get info so this is so we are going to use this one as a future that's it now what we have to do we have to do here we have to put that show card that we just built okay so uh, first of all for example uh, here i'm going to write here snapshot dot data dot you can see a lot of things just like the version if i'm going to talk about the version so i think so data should be the null so in this way we can do this uh, let's resolve this first of all just right here the versions it says that uh, it's type of string so let me call it in a string format so just putting here in this way it will show to our screen and you will see here but it still says the instance of android build version so maybe it needs one more argument just like the uh, code name previous or release or whatever you will show so you will see here it's a version as a d okay in this way let's create here a final as a data then I'm just calling here the snapshot dot data so that I don't need to write the data again and again and again. Also putting here this exclamation mark so that null safety issue will not come. Then I'm just going to remove this line and I'm going to use this data every time. So what we will do we will just uh, call this show card if we are going to use the brand we can call the brand in this way we can call the device as a dot dot device we can call the model as a data dot model we can call the manufacturer we can call the product we can call the hardware we can call is it the physical device or not we can call the variants okay now if i just save button you will see all the things are coming so in this way, you can get the data of your device, your information about the device. That's it for today.